I guess this is kind of like getting to start with Luigi. Closest we're gonna get anyway. Dear Mario. Uh, Peach? Peach? Are you gonna keep talking or? They didn't feel like calling back in the voice actors for an asset reusy sequel, so uh, that's what I'm here for. Would you like to share some cake while we watch the shooting stars? Toads everywhere. We're celebrating. It's kind of like the storybook feel they got going on. We can point at the screen with our um, pointer and collect these star bits of all shapes, colors, and sizes. At least one of those things is true. We also got some coins with no apparent purpose yet. The star bits just can be used to shoot the toads, which does nothing of note. Uh... Sorry, I don't speak PlayStation. Um, shake the Wii remote to spin. We now have the ability to break open crystals. We can also forcibly make toads behave like ballerinas. That's what Monster Mario is. And we also have kind of a double jump direction correction-y midair kind of thing right here. It's a very helpful ability. We're going to be relying on it a lot, so learn to use it. People who might not have considered themselves gamers before and... I think that it was perfect having this start out like a new Super Mario Bros. game, having it transition to kind of a 2.5D thing here, and have fun with your stupid mushrooms. You don't know me. I haven't eaten mushrooms to get bigger since Super Mario World. That's at least 15 years before this. Oh. Our ball of you knock off his eggshell diaper, revealing his very red bum underneath. He is primed for the spanking thanks to his diaper rash. Uh, do not take that into context, please. There are multiple ways of taking out most bosses. Well, what do you think? Mm. Nice spaceship, yeah. More like a face ship. <laughs> well, at least you'll never lose it in a parking lot. Am I right? <laughs> so what's next? Don't look at me. This ship has your face on it, not mine. Thank God. The decision is yours. And uh, my life counts. Uh, my emer... <laughs> My life count! It's one less than it should be after that! Uh, I meant to do that. I wanted to show this is a really good life grinding spot because before the last checkpoint, we collected a 1-up, which respawns, and then we can do this for 3-up, and then you can also get lots and lots of star bits, which upon collecting a 100 of the suckers, that's also another 1-up! So ha! Joke's on you! I'm actually- Okay, I don't have any real way to prove that you were accusing me of anything. I'm just kind of showing my own insecurities now, aren't I? But- yeah, my life count. I was about to get to that. My um, thought for sure I was toast. Um, I can just go on these side pathways and be fine, but I'm just going to... Well, I thought I could be fine on the side pathways. Crap. Okay, I was about to word this in the very tasteless way of I recommend you kill yourself. <laughs> um, I recommend the, you know, maybe... And back to Starship Mario. Fun fact, Mario is not the first character in his canon to get his own planet. Wario actually beat him to it in the original Wario Land. He gets so rich that he buys his own planet at the end. 362. Almost one for every day of the year. Wish I could give you more help than just cheering from the sidelines. You know, a friend with another Wiggledy Waggledy can join up with you. Then one of my co-star Lumas can help out. And if we go over this way, hop off of him, get that. Of course, you can always sacrifice your friend for an extra jump, but who would do such a thing? Uh, these bugs are very helpless enemies. They just kind of run away from you, don't even try to attack you, fortunately. And from there, yeah, he's just gone. Uh, I'm going to explore the area a tad more just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Got a one-up for meeting that many berries. Talk! Talk! Tell me where Bowser is! Talk! 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 He was wishing for it by the end of that torture segment. I should start a collection! No! Yeah. No! Oh, thank God. For a second there, I didn't think I, I didn't see the, the nest, and I, I thought, uh, you know what I thought. <laughs> Feed him until he pops! Make him regret his decision! That's the stuff. Oh, so full. I think I'm about to transform. 
My monitor is two feet away from my face, and I actually just spat on it from that distance. That's impressive. Ooh, uh... Every time I come back here, I can't just face it. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Ground Pound? Ground Pounding is actually a very helpful move in the arsenal. Heh, <laughs> arsenal, Ground Pound. Oh, uh, okay, I don't know what happened there. What I want to do is lick this toad and, oh, nope. Oh, I, I did it in one try, yes! The tongue sticks to toad and you can just <laughs> do this. Uh, the Star Shroom is playing Jump Rope. <laughs> Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, if only getting the Jump Rope Challenge in Mario Galaxy was easy. Hello, Toad. You like my party trick? <laughs> the tongue's going through his face. Hi, Mario. We are the Toad Brigade. Our goal is to find power stars and save Princess Peach. Worry not, because we're terrible at this job, and you're going to be the one doing all the work. You're used to it, though. You understand. And to think, Yoshi was extreme French kissing him through that whole exchange. I'm gonna not withdraw from this and try to keep my Starbuck count as constant as possible, only tapping into this if I absolutely need to to avoid grinding. <laughs> Love that clip. Yeah, it's really stupid, and I kind of have to express my dismay that because of this feature, they disabled copying your save files and also reduced the number of save files from six to three even though it's based on the same engine and I would have much rather had save file copying and backups than the bank toad. Well, on today of all days, I think I can express I don't dig it. Anyway. Oh, Yoshi. That's so cute how you made a home on the one body part that is identical across the two of us. It's the thing we have most in common. Hey, everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. It's own. See what I mean? There are some unique Whittle designs, but compared to what they could do, this guy's just the tip of the iceberg. Leafy hint. Press B. Okay, I can go over here. And then I can... Yes! I knew I could make it! I don't need to stomp off of your heads! Your heads are worthless to my cause! Ah! I was hoping I'd actually go down on that Goomba right there. Uh, maybe not the best word choice! Okay. It's kind of sad when I think of Goombas as being a little more dangerous than them. Now the mighty have fallen! Haha, uh because, -huh. you know, I fell. <laughs> well, we'll go up here. We got coins to collect, and we got Goom Beetles to smash. These guys are invincible, so just flip them over with a spin. Man, as soon as Bowser finally stops being such a cheap ass and gives an increase to the budget so that you can have head protection after how long that's been an exploitable weakness, it's right as soon as I finally get the ability to flip you over anyway. Oh, the irony of their situation. <laughs> so hollow. I feel awful after hearing that fanfare and seeing that. Oh my god, it's even bronze in the cut. No! Uh, well, bronze stars. Believe it or not, they are functionally identical to gold stars. I'm not in this world. I didn't earn this world. What have I become? Oh hey, that first level's really good. I like that one. Uh, I don't deserve to be in its presence. Wow, take a look at that. We found an entirely new world. I haven't earned this. I will be. Oh, get away from me. There is the gold. I don't know what I'm getting so bent out of shape about it. You saw me earn it the first time without much trouble. The puzzling picture block. Now it just sounds like a Count of Dracula. Ooh, a, qu a Comet Medal in the intro movie. Blink and you miss it, but it's there. God, you know, there's got to be hillbillies and other planets and in space, you know. It's got to be planets where they became like the dominant species and everything. <laughs> dominant? No. <laughs> that was... I meant to say, like, dominant, like, social... <laughs> dominant species. <laughs> Real nice. <laughs> well, um... I just made a lot of, um... <laughs> okay, I was gonna say a specific state, but I don't think I wanna get it, dig myself any deeper. <laughs> okay, uh, well, I'm gonna jump up here and be clever about my platforming, because I sure ain't being clever about my speech. <laughs> Ground pounded. 
if I can land a single hit. Uh, now I'm just standing on him. Uh, or her. She is a mother after all. I have murdered your child. Show me the fight that you have within you. Show me the resolve you have to see it through. Show it all to me now. Damn, you sucked. No wonder your child died right in front of you. You know, Mario, with the advanced technology of motion controls, you can actually feel me slap you awake! Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2! Watching yourself, watching TV, watching yourself, watching TV, watching yourself, watching TV, watching yourself. Stump, can you turn into metal, please? You can! Good Stumpy Wumpy. I like how you change phases of uh, elements. Because what is an element? If I was two coins short, would you spot me the two coins on those sticks? They are coins you haven't eaten after all, and that was your only requirement for this. Apparently you're not that hungry. Rich in iron, I think I'm going to transform! You so fat, you turn into three planets. And from eating less coins than the other guy, I might add. Well, uh, we got the cloud suit. Our one and only is the hot stepping dash pepper. Personally a big fan of Cayennes and Habaneros myself. We'll have to see what the uh, alien peppers have to be like. Uh, there's a hot pepper out there somewhere else in the universe, millions of light years away, just waiting for me to taste it. Great remix of Super Mario World. Scarce resource. And on the way down, he's just farting his way down. Uh, 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 <laughs> Poor Yoshi. I'm awful to you! Why are you my friend at all? I was wanting to show that Yoshi can have five concussions in one day, setting a new world record that no organization will ever certify. Attempt number three. Very far. Quite a view, is it not? From here, it is clear how important every coin truly is. Ah uh, yes, I trained. Trained for decades atop the waterfalls, honing my spirit to learn the importance of money. It's pretty beautiful up here. And... Yes! Woo! But I landed on the pole! <laughs> uh, okay, I lived. Sorry, Yoshi. Mario, how about you eat it as punishment? Nope, not gonna do it. Figured as much. You're gonna dance with it, though. There's a renewable one. Oh, renewable five up every single time it's reset, so we can see even better. Sup, everybody? It's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Sup, everybody? It's Chugga Conroy. Sup, sup, everybody? It's Chugga Conroy. 700. Automatic food dispensers are dangerous, you know! Transform! Also able to destroy these plants. First thing other than Yoshi's tongue that's been capable of that. It's better not control badly, because I'm going to be going if it does. It knows exactly what I'm talking about. Well, it seems like it's prey animals that have such an attitude. I guess they kind of would have to, otherwise they, you know, wouldn't survive in nature. You can gain a little height by going slow. I'm not going to make that. Not even remotely. Well, we can see damage. Oh, what? He was drowning off screen! <laughs> that's, that's a great detail. All well, five gates before. Just saying. Better time this time, too. Thanks, Fluzzard. Thanks a lot. I guess that goal you pass through is what you'd call a shine gate. No additional stars, of course, because that one was made out of water. And a nuclear time. Okay. Uh, we haven't fed everyone here in a while. Uh, how about Mail Toad? 
Yar. Uh, what about you? Uh, you're a banker. You hold on to star bits. What a waste of good money! And it even plinked off and broke on my head. It's nice. Did I feed the co-star Luma? Just trying to like see if we can maybe do something little here that I've never seen before because we're kind of all done collecting stars for the day. What happens if I shoot the Yoshi egg? What happens if I shoot Yoshi? Don't take that out of context. Uh, oh, he ran away terrified! Maybe it's like dogs where like chocolate candy destroys their nervous system. Maybe for Yoshi it's honey candy. Yeah, falling asleep at the wheel, eh? I'd expect no less from someone who drives one of these without a license. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy! Honey Bloom Galaxy, Bumble Beginnings! <laughs> oh, you and me are gonna get along just fine. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way that a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because it doesn't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow, let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Coming! Hang on a second. Hello? Barry? Ad Adam? Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick it up for you. Mission over! Aren't you glad I didn't drag that out longer than I had to? That's seriously it! <laughs> All of that other geography that you saw in that intro, the most mysterious unused content of them all. Oh. Yeah. Except not, the secret walked. <laughs> Think he knows any good Beatrix? Ha, <laughs> Beatrix. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a name, so like it, it could be a pun. I, I, I just like to think that all of them are puns, okay? I, I, doubt, I don't know if that room one from last time was was intentional, but I just, I, I like to think that it was. That was an eerie way to get hurt. B? Bet you'd like to know our secret. When we get coins in the air, we can fly farther. It's like money motivating you to do greater things. I like that B, he made my job a lot easier. Don't have to explain an additional mechanic. There's a cool little mushroom there with our name on it. These big old jellyfish, they have no official names whatsoever. So I hereby dub the the greater spotted jelly float because that's one of my favorite obscure Pikmin enemies. And it ah, didn't like the name, didn't like the name. Abort, abort. <laughs> that was really funny. Uh, yeah. I've chosen to come back to uh, this guy here. Because I've looked into this more, and there's none other of these anywhere in the universe. He is one of a kind. I've also found out his official name. It's Jellyfish. <laughs> On top of that, it takes two Koopa Shells to beat him, and you get ten Star Bits for it. Think of sw the swimming all, all the time. Is it ice skating season yet? We're going to murder those penguins! Yippee, it's frozen solid! All my friends are dead! No one will expect me to have to swim ever again! He's actually, oh, it's only the surface is frozen. He's still down there. Okay, he's moving. <laughs> I remember the me who grew up in an area where it's never ever snowed twice. I, I grew up in Arizona and then later in Florida, so I'd never even seen snow until I was like 22 years old. I remember I asked uh, friends of mine from up north if they're, if their ponds even have fish in them because they freeze every winter and that would naturally just kill all the fish in it. I didn't understand that not the whole pond freezes and only the surface does. <laughs> just out of having never seen it before. <laughs> just reminded of that right now. I'll take two out of three. Above average luck. You dream in a cosmic cove? I'm sure I'm going to tonight as well. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Wait, why was the penguin pissed off that I saved the guy? I get it, it was all a plot. You Lumas think you're so much cuter than us penguins, I'll show you. And so he stuffed him in there and put it in an area that only a strong penguin swimmer like himself could only access. It all makes sense, your evil plot. This little guy is gonna be okay, thanks to you. I gotta wonder what, how often the inverse of that is true. How many alien worlds, worlds there are out there that are nothing like ours. And they'd be like, oh man, your planet's got water everywhere. Ours has 
The Nunbium everywhere. I don't know, I just thought of a random element. You know what I mean. Our world is only normal to us. I don't know what the odds of that are actually happening. Um, I know that it's been proven that phosphorus can replace arsenic in lives, so it's believed that maybe life is not as defined as specifically as we think it is. LEET! No kid today is gonna know what that is, but I have LEET, Starbits. I always feel so old whenever I say that and every kids are just like, what? You and your Fortnites and new memes that replace old ones. Harem, a sassy penguin on board the spaceship. That's a new one on me. So, I would recommend not relying on it much. It's like another life shroom, though. Pretty generous on the health. You know, we, uh, Bowser and I, we play go-karts on weekends. After a while, you kinda gotta acknowledge certain things about your foe, your adversary, and you develop a small sense of respect for him. <laughs> Careful of the statues. Now this is awesome. My butt is able to propel meteorites into space. You see this right here? You see how I missed? My butt is responsible for destroying some planet in another galaxy if that thing kept going. That's just how mighty the butt is. <laughs> Nine coins. Remember when they gave you rewards for collecting 100? Well, how about that? The flotatious blimp fruit! Oh my gosh, guys, we're gonna become flotatious! I've always wanted to function as a flotation device! Having way too much fun with that word. So we have the sequel to. Guys, Bowser's hair just moved. Guys! Light shines through trees in video games now! I guess with this being a new world, you could call it the extended universe of that. <laughs> uh, you can just kindly bug off. The star, courage. Our people, much courage. Our people, riddles. Piranha plants, dead. Coins, devoured. Star bits, pockets. Three ups, moment. Moment, now. 31 lives. 31 lives. 31 lives. Sling star, up tree, slide, tree chop, show, show courage. Uh, wait, smug horde? Oh, I thought he said smug horde. <laughs> uh, there I was gonna just skip over the line because I'm sure it was getting a little tiring and then uh, I, I want to read it anyway. Tastes like when I was a kid and I was bored in an afternoon, so I would just suck on my shirt for an hour until it started to taste good. Transform! Mom told me I'd grow up into a bowl. Hey, bravo, you did it! Eventually! Poor peach-colored sky. He might have grown up to be a bowl. But at least he can say, he was memorable. <laughs> on the starting planet, on the underside of it is a pointless one-up. You can grab it, I guess. But why would you when it wastes seven seconds of your time? This is gonna make this mission a heck of a lot harder because I went and grabbed that and with there being so many enemies everywhere, I, I, I don't know, it's just, you get lots of star bits, that gets you one-ups. Those blue crabbers are special. When they're defeated, they, well, they do something. We'll find out eventually if I can ever hit the guys. There you go, they turn into one-ups. So why would you ever grab that one-up at the startup other than just to make it harder on yourself? I guess it's what the kids are calling challenge these days. Well, we never believed in that in my days. Back in the fabled era when video games were apparently actually difficult and we weren't just you know, we swear we weren't just terrible eight-year-olds who sucked at video games, and that's the only reason why we thought games were super hard as kids. <laughs> uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, uh, well, I got most of them at least. Ah, there's two now. Well, at least I got to stand in the sky before I died. Doing things not many people have accomplished makes life more fulfilling. One left. There can be only one on this planet. INCLUDING PLANTS! I will destroy-
destroy you. Crap, when I leave this place, there's going to be zero on it, so I'm going to be breaking my own rule. Oh, well. Give me that star. <laughs> Took me five attempts. Of all the things that I died on a lot, I was expecting it to be the tall trunk slide and not this. Do you recall how I skipped ahead of most of the level and made it... My, my bitch? That does not sound right coming from me. Uh, well, I realized that a little too late. I wasn't able to stop it quite fast enough. That was what my logic was last time. The prankster comet was going to take us back here. Almost, 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 almost. I don't care about you wigglers. You can just be angry somewhere else for all I care. No, it's nice. You got him. Nice work, sweetie. Let me trade this for you. Are you hitting on me? I mean, I guess robots don't have genders, so we don't really have to get into that being complicated. Good. And this old gal gave us a- Oh, you are a girl! Now try staying on the straight and narrow. Wobbling all over the place won't get you anywhere in life. And she murders you! And the worst thing is, she's got diplomatic immunity for it because in alien worlds, they murder people for being bad at going down slides all the time. We have meteorites not doing as much damage as you'd expect to a place made entirely out of wood. And most terrifying of all, everyone's trying to make out with you! There's a smee up ahead that we're gonna go past. And it's okay, I know how to deal with these types. I know how to deal with them. We're gonna share this hot pepper together! <laughs> you thought that sharing food with Yoshi would be way more romantic? Well, I had news for you. I, I personally shared, like, uh, do I want to go into food that I have shared with uh, significant others before? Well, there's one time we tried sharing chocolate. It was, oh my god, disgusting. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> don't want to think about that. It was so goofy and gross. And, uh, uh, okay, well, speaking of things that are awful and terrible and no good and very bad, on top of that is a one-up where the Penguin Master Sensei who taught me the importance of dollars was. I'm going to grab that as quickly as humanly possible or usually possible. I got some really good airtime going off of that ramp back there. That's such a great way of putting a new spin on it without outright using the same power-ups over and over again and reusing the same level concepts constantly and never doing anything new or original with it. I like it a lot, and I think it's a great way to... Stop making out with me! No death by makeout! I didn't realize it was on my face until it was too late. Sneaking down the creepy corridor. Yes. Well, we're going to sneak it down the creepy corridor. If you have not heard about the corridor, it's a uh, uh, often has a door at the back of it. Keeping this going, I just want to spin along on my merry way. And I gotta retry at this. Okay, so ground pound. Let's be more aggressive. Mario tends to be harder, I find, when you're slow and careful and not when you're just going and, you know, just gunning it through everything. And I'm seeing that that is kind of apparent here as I have at least made it further even if I got hit once. I get the coin. Good as new. Mario's all nice and shiny. We've reset the, uh, the odometer on him. We'll get a good price whenever I have to uh, trade him in for another one, which I'm sure I'll be able to do because of plentiful one-ups in this adventure. Yeah, long jumping is the way to go. Oh, God. The time has finally come. I'm going to talk about the very thing that all of you have told me about for the last few weeks that you want me to show more than anything else in the entire world. You ever notice how this thing in front of the steering wheel looks like a freaking duck? Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Go slip through. Go, 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 no, 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 no! What? How did that count? How did that? I lost? I lost? I'm no leader. Yeah, you lost a fluzzard. You should be ashamed. Ah, I love you, fluzzard, but you're really not the best at flight. I'm sorry. Take this fire power up, and we can use that to melt the snow, undoing Bowser's hard work to sculpt these beautiful works of art out of snow. And I wouldn't even call it conceited. He's genuinely, he's genuinely paying homage to his underlings. He's a good guy. 
He's doing all this artistic work for the world and we're just crapping all over it. Well, keep going. All right, so you made it aboard. Now, uh, I did something. I didn't, wouldn't really mean that. Think of starting position. I'm personally not a fan of this running gag of the boards having names that are like puns on billboard. I'm a big fan of puns. I just don't think that it's particularly funny, this particular one. So that'll teach you to not be funny. I snapped your neck and killed you. If you think about the anatomy of a billboard, that's really what I would be doing. No questions asked. It's the most gruesome way that Mario ever kills anybody. So we're rolling on top of this ball and you can still point at the screen to grab star bits for some reason. Yeah, uh, I like they actually stick star bits around thinking that you're going to be collecting them. Well, I am. So, ah, I was in agreement with the game for this time. Uh, well, we're gonna go over this way. In various other choice words, I, <laughs> I missed it by one note. It seems to be a recurring trend. At least you got to hear the song for the most part. Wow, there were 50 star bits attached to that letter. No return address, but I hope I get to meet this mysterious person soon. Because we can't feed them to young Master Luma Luma, you know what that means. He is forced to watch while we feed his dessert to other people! Because it, it fed him through the forehead. Uh, on that note, Lubba. Uh, now, I'm gonna try to get under you. This seems like it's pretty good. Huh. Ender Dragon, more like Under Dragon, right? Eh. Um, of Mario trope in each game. Huge trouble with Big Wigglers! Or as I like to call them, Bigglers! It's exactly what you think it is. What are you doing here, Luigi? <laughs> you just thought it was appropriate. And little did we know back in 2010 that the name of a new Nintendo system was highlighted in red in Luigi's text right there. The truth was out there all along. We grow up big here! Watch out! Well, uh, we'll watch out for this guy. He is a giant goom... But... Yeah, not gonna be as weak as normal, are they? No, actually, they're very easy to take out. I just kind of sucked there. Though it is kind of stylish having him get stomped by his own body weight. This is a very good trap, actually. I never really took you guys to be the intelligent types, but I guess you're in Super Smash Brothers, and well, Luigi is not, so you had to at least be smarter than him. It doesn't strike me as a stupid type either. He's usually very optimal in sports, and usually really understands the mechanics of things well, good at racing. I always used him in Mario Kart, and I understood he was one of the better ones. Uh, oh, this one! This place! Yeah. It's sweets for the taking. It's Halloween night. It's Bulberry's mysterious glow. I'm gonna stop, 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 stop right there. Yeah. All right, man. This level makes me hungry. I, I've actually realized that I haven't eaten and now I'm kind of wishing that I didn't uh, not eat before doing this. Before we go on, those pancakes over there. I'm sure they look less delicious when you can see how pixely their textures probably are. But from this distance, man, I just want to dig into those. I'd live on those pancakes, man. They look even more delicious than the donuts, which is saying a lot because I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty big donut person. Uh, the choppers. Aw, Yoshi. You don't get to glow like the star. Only the star gets to do that. And Luigi. <laughs> like Luigi would ever be glowing brightly in the eyes of Nintendo. Up next, we're up to Flipsville. Ain't no Squaresville. We're in Flipsville, man. It just sounds cool, you know? Flip flopping in Flipsville. The, um, the uh, Luma Shops help. And it was a bad thing that I didn't. Well, gonna go ahead and pelt you in that. What an unfortunate birthmark to have on your belly from the start of your life. That's just asking for somebody to come and beat you up. High school must have been a miserable experience for you, even if you were prom queen in the end. She, uh, she... Oh my god, she peaked in high school. Where she became prom queen, and that was the most important thing that she did. She still has the crown from it on her head to this day, and has it as a regular part of her wardrobe. Because she just can't move on, because it's the only time that she ever mattered in her life. 
What a sad, depressing backstory, man. I feel for you. Well, I don't know. I think high school was honestly the worst four years of my life, so I don't really feel that uh, whole peaking in high school thing. Uh, okay, so that was going home. Four, where we took out the Glamdoza, putting her out of her misery of her high school days. And we had to, because Flipsville's getting some new digs. And she was a square, man. Flipsville ain't a place for squares. I mean, just look at it, it's a place for rectangles. Did you catch that? Did you see it was in the background there? Did you see the big statue that was in the middle? Did you see any of that? Yes. Do you know what this is gonna be? Well, if you don't, I'm gonna leave you hanging in suspense for a minute. And for those of you that do, well, we just get to think about how happy it's going to make the people that don't know and how they're gonna get to be very, very happy in a moment. When I woke up this morning, I saw these silver star things all over the islands. This is a, a, a colony that Delfino is, Delfino's space program is branching out into. I know the galaxies don't make a whole lot of, I know the galaxy games don't make a whole lot of sense when you think of things from a world building perspective, but I'm trying here because Mario Sunshine was the last time that we really got very, well, maybe not the last time though, but it certainly was a strong case of world building in Mario. Uh, these crabs turn into boomerangs. There's your biology lesson for today. Uh, whenever you eat them, they are not special enemies in any way. They just kind of fumble towards you while you're on the ocean floor. Uh, this over here is a meanie. Didn't think that would actually be able to swing up and hit me. This is a clampy. I thought the silver star would be, I think the fifth one would be down there, is it not? Ah, bloopers, I didn't acknowledge you. Spin to... Turn them inside out so their ink goes everywhere. Mario's spin is so overpowered that it leaves only your bodily fluids behind when it kills you. Let it be known that gold flows through the veins of Goombas based on that logic. I cannot die right now. Lakitu, get away from me. Lakitu, I feel you off camera over my shoulder. My butthole is clinching and I don't want you to get close to me. You know, like when your butt like just like pulls in tight when you feel like something dangerous is coming up behind you really, really fast, but like you can't turn around and look at it. That's how I felt in that moment. You, you got into Mario Kart 7 without Waluigi. I'll have you know that that is a sin of the highest caliber. A sin that people think is worthy of sending Sakurai memes on Twitter. But nothing is worth that. Please do not harass him over your characters. He has asked him you to not do that. Just want to spread the message. Well, uh, your, you scratch, I scratch your back, you scratch mine. On second thought, I wouldn't want that stinger anywhere near my backside. Well, uh, ooh, that tick. She only said that after I crawled over her crotch. Ah, that's, she is only saying that when I'm on the crotch. Ooh, that tickles. Like, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. I've only been a bee for about 12 minutes. I'll have you know that that's very underage. Oh. I already got the honey shroom. Why am I in here? We already used it once. Didn't we? Yeah, there was that bee galaxy where I recited the bee movie script. What's that? A striped mushroom? I've never seen one of those before. You, uh, yeah. Have fun with your unusual toy there. I ain't judging. Look, okay, just because it's shaped like the head of a certain body part and is covered in fuzz, that doesn't mean- I made it sound like this one was very far off, but it's not. Chopworks Galaxy, one of my personal favorite levels, even if it's not as memorable as some of the other ones, like Fluffy Bluff, it's pretty high up there, and I'm very glad we're going where the chomps are made of gold, and the sun is always shining, and the air smells like warm root beer, and the towels are oh so fluffy, where the Shriners and the Lepers play their ukuleles all day long, and anyone on the street will gladly shave your back for a nickel! Waka waka doo doo, yeah! Okay, maybe I'm embellishing a little bit. Maybe I am a little bit too hopeful that we'll be going someplace as great as Albuquerque. Uh, so I wanna go into first person mode right away. Why is it every time I wanna go into first person mode you won't let me? Do you hate me or something? 
Uh, you probably do. Fleet sucked about Thanks, game. I didn't know I could shake the Wii Remote to make things happen. Never thought to do that one before. And this incredibly cool looking planet that's got all this going on. All right, this is really, really neat. We're gonna only get one shot at that if it dies. Uh, okay, so if I spin and jump. Uh, no, I don't need the park. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. You don't even need the spring mushroom in the only mission that it's in. I proved that you can get on top of that yellow area in the previous planet without it in the last mission because I just wall jumped up there. But this. Well, that sucked. Failure is what I am. Oh, no, 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 no. It is better to, it's better to touch yourself than have your ass be on fire. Get all that. You from Chesapeake, cause you a cheapskate. That's not even clever. I just said that because the first time that I ever read the word Ches the name Chesapeake, I thought it's a cheapskate. And I've forever thought that it reminded me of that just for that one experience and that one experience alone. Anyway, long jump here. Making up for our lack of skill there at the beginning. Oh, there we go. Using the gravity to curve around and boink off of the dry bones head. That's how you know that you're a regular here, you know? You gotta let Bowser know that you're uh, a regular in his club. You gotta get into his Coney Island disco palace. Uh, that Magikoopa was floating just barely off of the thing enough that I was able to just walk right under his or her skirt and uh, not have to face any consequences for said action. I just kept running. It's what you should do if you ever walk under somebody's skirt. Just keep moving. Don't stop for anything. Not even if gravity itself changes the rules on you. Well, uh, I stopped moving. Whoa! Uh, remind me to never backflip when that's doing that again. I didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, those are electro shooters. I reiterate, Flood got robbed. That really would be a good power up for Flood if they ever wanted to bring him back. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink, if anybody from Nintendo happens to be watching this, which I know you can't take unsolicited game ideas, so I've just doomed us all to never have that concept ever again if they are, so hopefully, please, nobody from Nintendo is watching this. Otherwise, I have doomed us all to oblivion to never get a Super Mario Sunshine remix. On <gasps> okay, I feel better now. Star time! And this lighting engine is glorious. Well, our star count is now 69. These guys are so violent. There's a garbage problem, so they're like exploded. There's a box problem, so they're like light it on fire. And then there's a chop problem, and they're like, I'm gonna tear them apart with my bare hands. And then they actually sit there doing it all day like it's some kind of form of sick entertainment for them. Uh, no way am I doing this in one try. This is really hard. Not a good way to go about this. Nope. Okay, let's give you some hot tips to use in this power-up. So it replaces your spin jump. Gotta go faster, 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 zero! No! The zero was covering it up! No! I really thought I had it. Okay, um, new strategy. New strategy that I think will work. A lot better than throwing them away. You would not believe the things people throw away. I'm so sorry you have to live this life. I'm trying to catch you up on the hot trends of your people who exiled you for not being violent enough. Well, we'll grab this very easy star. Hashtag chuggalize. Sounds like a song. Uh, grab the one up. It's because I'm very much into collecting those. Don't you all collect clones of yourself in the basement of your house? I do it all the time. Grab you. Oh, they're actually going over the tutorial again. Once again, jumping under Fluzzard, he repels you. He rejects you. You are not the chosen one. Plumbers were never meant to fly, you know? And birds were apparently never meant to not be pancakes by Mario's measure. You've fallen asleep at the wheel. You've fallen asleep at the wheel. You know what they say when you do that? You either pull over and take a nap or you, I don't know, get on top of the car and do 10 jumping jacks. I'm not exactly sure, but whatever they said to do in driving school sounds equally as ridiculous. Hey, 
Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Why is it that they love putting smiley faces on the creepiest Mario enemies? Or is it that the creepiest Mario enemies are the way they are because they're smiling? This is so terrifying. <laughs> this would have scared the pants off me as a kid and it at least scares the socks off of me as an adult. <laughs> it's, these are so, like they're hollow smiles and just how like they're instant death. I, I don't like it. It gives me kind of flashbacks to the tox boxes in Mario 64 and how much those terrified me. I just, I don't like it. Everything smiles at you in Mario and that makes it so much creepier than it would be otherwise. Maybe it's kind of like the Five Nights at Freddy's effect where the guy who made that was trying to make legitimately cute characters and everybody was horrified by them so he used that to his advantage to make a horror game. Maybe someone at Nintendo was trying to make the game look more approachable and less scary and they ended up failing miserably and making it look more terrifying. With all these cool looking stone pillars everywhere. We have arrived. Hello, am I finally going to... Why can I never go into first person when I want to? Why do I sound like Strong Bad? Why am I advertising my cool game for attractive people now on WiiWare? Okay. This, okay. Boom, 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 boom. Fry your tongue! Cow tongues are a very beloved delicacy, according to my kindergarten teacher and no one else I've ever met in my entire life. She made like an art display with them and they were apparently supposed to be edible so it was supposed to be like edible artwork i don't know i didn't really partake okay uh oh he had a little burp see okay it's okay i won't judge you if you have a little burp see uh just don't burp in your pants okay <laughs> i heard one time i heard a kid <laughs> he like he was like this little kid he farted and he was like mommy i burped in my pants <laughs> Okay, all right, well, you you got a scorched tongue. Okay, so you're good. And I dropped my Wii remote. No one saw that. Advantages of not using face cam. <laughs> Which will hopefully have some coins in it. Oh God, these things. I do not like you. Kill you. What I do to people I don't like. You can go off to the endless abyss. That's another thing I do to people I don't like. What a sad way to go. Oh boy, okay, that was almost bad. Okay, and last one. Did I do it, did I do it, did I do it? I did it, I'm getting better at these, not bad. And I even got the coin while I was at it too. I'ma spread your ectoplasm on toast. Okay, get that, do this. I can still see the background. Don't be too loud, you don't want them to hear. Otherwise they'll have to recall this because that's what one graphical quirk gets you nowadays. W what is he doing? He's dangling off of monkey bars and just letting his feet wiggle back and forth. <laughs> Since I didn't get a chance to before, j why is this giving me such a hardness? It makes no... <laughs> okay, not the way that I would have worded that if I could have done that again. Uh, I... <laughs> Don't know why this is giving me such adversity because I don't remember this being particularly hard. They have more important things to attend to, such as enjoying some tea over the eternal debate of Ho-Oh or Lugia. Everything pretty tranquil here. We got ice and fire meeting in various ways. Various mass hysteria going on here. We are being watched. Above us are some unidentified alien creatures. In the game's code, their file name is Hell Valley Sky Tree. So they're trees, right? There's just one problem with that. They're not trees! They are some form of unidentified alien life that doesn't fit in with anything else. And they are always watching you within this canyon. Presumably they rushed over to see what was going on and we're not able to get any closer to them or see any more detail than that. 
This became a running trend where there were various ghosts that were of unknown origin that don't match any sort of Mario enemy uh, that would go on to appear in games like Super Mario 3D Land, and this is kind of where it got going. If I can show you something that's a little bit less threatening and terrifying and horrifying and uh, nightmare-inducing, it's that the meteors, they stop moving for a second when you go into first-person mode. Uh, you saw it there for like a second where like it stopped moving as I was starting to look at it. It's something that I'm sure nobody would have ever noticed if there wasn't that point of intrigue so close to them, so I'm sorry they, uh, they caught on to your poor animation uh, tactics for no reason other than just somebody else was being too detailed right next to you. We got some ice skating to do. I'm not spinning because I don't want to use up this cloud. I'd rather keep it all I can. Still got him. He's so cute. I want to be together with him forever, and we'll call him Charlie. Ah, no, Charlie! Knew, that wasn't intentional. <laughs> that was not intentional at all. <laughs> that could not have been. T what the? What happened there? I just like wave dashed off the cliff. But now I can be together with Charlie forever. You got the time? Time to take on the chimp? Oh man, I thought it was Ryan time. I'll be like the skate pal, cause here you're gonna need you're gonna need to skate and bump as many gummits as you can. You know why they call those enemies that? Because when you fail, you say "dag gummit." Attempt number three. So first off, this scenery looks awfully familiar, wouldn't you say? And I ain't talking about the dead nipple robot who has had his nipples severed from his body forever. Uh, they don't need prosthetic nipple surgery where they're going. Oh, when I'm through with you, your dad's gonna be activating those parental controls so hard! Let's give him what he's got coming to him. Our final battle against Bowser Jr. in this journey, it's the Boomsday Machine! I would've personally gone for Boomsday device, because I think that sounds way cooler and more like an evil genius, which has kind of always been Bowser Jr.'s thing that he uses machines to fight. Oh, oh this could be bad. Uh, can I long or wall jump off of you? Kinda, I got up on top of this. Got it just in time, saved myself, and then, no, that would've been so cool. Oh wait, no, I did it, I did it, yes. Saved it, saved. See what I mean? It's just such an exciting fight. You don't know what you're gonna be getting every single time. and. I've had times where I've dealt with him really easily. I've had times where I lost a few lives against him. It's really fun. I'd like to talk to you about a scientist who went by the name of Stephen Hawking. Maybe you've heard of him. His contributions to the scientific community were many and are still felt to this day. And I'm sure will still be felt in the future as his research is more analyzed, as people find out if he was correct about various things. He's a very important name. Before us is a black hole and it's ejecting steam. That is excess matter that gets ejected from black holes in a small stream as it accumulates at the center of gravity. This is known as Hawking radiation, as he provided a scientifically backed argument in favor of its existence. His contributions reach not only into the scientific community, but have even gone so far as to have influenced the direction of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Thank you for all that you did. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Super Mario Galaxy 2. The Magnificent Magma Sea. Magma Sea, yes see. Magma Sea, yes see. Okay, I don't want to be too annoying after I said something that was kind of heartfelt at the beginning. Don't want to give you a total whiplash. <laughs> what? You got 5,200 points? I'm suddenly a toad. Well, I gotta acknowledge you as my greatest rival, and I'll give you the star to prove it. <laughs> His sound just sounded very toad-like there, so I had to make it sound like he um had a toad in his throat. <laughs> okay, give me the star. Let's get out of here before he punches me upside the head for doing that one, because he's totally the kind of guy that would do it. It's gotta be really unfortunate not having a nose yet still being able to smell. You don't have the luxury of being able to plug it up. Uh, okay, right now, th this might be a little bit too much information, so I apologize if any of you are, like, squeamish. Right now, I have a zit on the very, very tip of my nose. Yeah, like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, shut up. But um, I'm telling you this because you want to know what the worst feeling ever is? I've always said it's when you have water in your shoe and you have to, like, keep the shoe on all day. That one's bad. That is known to scar people for life. 
But what is potentially even worse is death. Thought I could wall jump on that, didn't realize it wasn't wall jumpable. With renewable one-ups, you don't have to learn anything. Uh, now what I'm saying was, uh, with renewable one-ups, you don't have to learn anything. He's dabbing! <laughs> he was dabbing! Not the way I imagined the great hero of legend to go. My, how the mighty have fallen. Okay, pull it together, Emil. This should not be giving you this much trouble. You have lost less lives to much more challenging things. I'm saying that the worst feeling ever is when you have a zit on top of just a tight, area of skin that is right on top of a vein so you can feel your heart beating inside of your own zit. It is so annoying and when you're trying to sleep it's very distracting because you can feel your heart beat inside of your face when you shouldn't and it constantly distracts you from getting to sleep. And then of course because the zit is just so deep in there and it hasn't really come to a head yet you can't just pop it to relieve the pressure to make it easy on yourself. No, you just gotta deal. Ugh, I can't stand that feeling so much. One of my least favorite feelings and I didn't even realize that I I didn't even realize that feeling was a thing until very recently when I was having this happen to me. Okay. So you're noticing that as we've been through Clockwork Ruins once before, only Goombas live here. Different varieties of Goombas. There we have Octoombas, we had Jacko Goombas. This was the Goomba Nature Preserve that Bowser was giving protection in exchange for Goomba's military services. And now Mario is here to undermine all of that by just killing all of them or something that makes Mario the bad guy because people just can't get enough of those types of theories for some reason. Okay, well, grab those. Uh... He's a hieroglyph! Uh, okay, well, you're seeing the challenge there. I... Action picture or something. I've had people telling me that it sounds so wrong to hear me say the name Minecraft, though, but it legitimately was on topic with a lot of the characters that never appeared in anything else, and I want to talk about it! And yet it doesn't sound wrong to hear me make sounds like that all the time. I guess that's the reputation I have built up for myself. <laughs> okay, minute and 40 seconds to grab three coins. I should be fine. Um, hey, okay, uh, don't... Don't hurt me, I hurt you. It's not that way, it's the other way around, you see? Now you understand how the world works just for you to not live in it anymore. What a tragic, tragic existence. So we'll go up into Womp's Fortress and- You're doing bringing hazardous materials aboard. You just better make sure he stays calm. I don't want an angry bob -omb on the ship. I don't know, man, he's glowing around already. He's a loose cannon ready to blow, literally. Sorry, Luigi, according to the laws of nature, you can never play a Mario 64 level. Otherwise, the controls will destabilize horribly and you'll start walking on water and we can't have that. Everything is going to be mass hysteria. I can't see where I'm going. Okay, no, I couldn't pull it off. I couldn't even see how close I got. This. Why am I still falling? Why am I still falling? Why am I still? I'm standing. Oh. I was standing on nothing. <laughs> well, I thought I discovered a soft log. That would have been more impressive than what I was trying to do. I was trying to show that it is possible with the cloud suit to actually jump over to that island. It's difficult to do. You can't really see where you're going and you have to be spot on with your jumping, but it is possible. Luigi? 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 Ah. Uh, Man, you can't take Luigi for granted, otherwise he'll be like, I see what you're doing, bro, and you know what? You don't get to have me anymore. I'm too good for this. I have Daisy, which must mean that I'm very good, apparently. Okay, uh, I'll take you. I Bowsy Junie. I'm going to call you that from now on because it's a cute version, a much cuter version of your already cute name. And it just embarrasses you so much and makes your cheeks turn red and you don't want me embarrassing you in front of dad like that. Okay. 
But I'm very happy about it. No, 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 no! Whoa! I went. <laughs> He's just like, all right, now I gotta dispose of the box. Oh man, I was gonna pose with Charlie and he died before I could even pose with him in this one. It doesn't matter how many times you reincarnate Charlie, you just instantly die. <laughs> you know, the only way through here is to defeat every enemy, right? This side apparently sounds like Quagmire. Giggity giggity goo. That's one show I never thought I would reference on this channel. Okay, give me the Comet Medal. There's a Luma Lee, a Luma Bop, welcome to the Luma Shop. Uh, I got exactly 30 star, but uh, wait, the captain was inside another ship the whole time and is a coward too? A captain should never be scared, especially when surrounded by enemies! I'm just taking a break right now! Eh. Surrounded by enemies, you say? Did you do this to him? Did you do this to him? You know what I'm gonna do now? I am going to fill you up with star bits until you explode! That'll teach you to mess with Captain Toad! He gets a fungal infection that overtakes his entire body, and then we devour him! Depressing way to go. What you are supposed to do is that. These stretchy plants, the cell wall is mightier than the iron. You could do that. Now, the funny thing about Luigi is that they scrunch down his height to make him not totally break a game designed around Mario's height. He is not as tall as Luigi generally is in the Mario canon. This is one of his shortest models but his hitboxes aren't exactly the same. By breakdancing atop this cage star and releasing Z immediately, perhaps mashing in order to get uh, more consistent results, you can grab that star without a key. It is the only star that is so high up in its cage that its hitbox just barely clips close enough to the wall that Luigi can just barely poke his foot through and grab it. Little guy, small fry, come on, try that I got He murders you! I knew a group of crows was called a murder, but this is ridiculous. You are not a crow. Just because you're a blackbird does not make you a crow. Is his whole body made of hair, or is his hairdo made of skin? He screams, for he does not know. Uh, 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 uh. Frizzboids. Uh, I don't know. I can't remember their name right now. They're escaping me, and it's my own fault. I have a faulty memory. I'm old. I'll have you know when I was your age, the hard drives used to spin. I'm pretty old, ain't I? Uh, Comet Metal right off the bat. I don't think we've ever seen that before. We are running out of levels, so that's what I get for giving purpose to my murders. I need to kill without reason or cause. No! Oh man, death by migraine. Get in there and show them what you got. That's right, no one in this galaxy can be bigger than Lubba. So, starting off. Hey man, we're all still finishing games with your name in the credits. I don't get that at all personally, because, okay. Personal experience. This goes both ways. Uh, oh my god, battery! Battery! <laughs> right as I was complaining that it wasn't gonna happen, it's... <laughs> wow, okay, uh, wow, uh, we're in the big leagues now. Battery endgame. <laughs> uh, perhaps that was Bowser's tombstone, what happened to him after he died. Or he became small, like we, you know, saw him do. That's probably canon. <laughs> well, Luigi, I love you, so I'm gonna let you end your eternal suffering. Ah, oh, what's a Mata? Don't you think you can get 10,000? Yes, I do. As a matter of fact, I am very sure I can get 10,000. He actually makes you do it again, the little asswipe. Or, uh, sorry, that's politically incorrect. The little monkey butt. Make Mario a star. So this is where he got his start. He was floating in the middle of space and apparently suffocating because all of his skin is blue. Um... Boy, if I was wearing overalls made entirely out of lava, I'd probably be suffocating too. 
Not the smartest decisions made in life, but his brother Luigi showed up to bail him out of these difficult times in his existence, where he barely existed at all, returning color to his skin by his own hand. Uh, that sign says that boom, 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 boom. And I was worried. Oh, Mario. Oh, Mario. Oh, you're looking pretty green around the gills there. I mean, I guess that's what enough heartburn would do to you, but yikes, man. Uh, get this checked out. And don't go to yourself. Don't go to Dr. Mario. Something tells me he ain't qualified to help with this sort of thing. Well, we grab our first pretty easy star. Luigi's Purple Coin Chaos. Now Luigi gets to reap what he sowed. This is a physical manifestation of the betrayal he felt. This is a reference to Toy Time Galaxy in Super Mario Galaxy. In fact, or does it have the Comet Metal on it? Or it's just a one-up and some coins, really? Oh no, there it is! Yeah, yeah, I know, the battery's dead and so is Luigi. These rotating block structures probably look familiar to you. If you've been around the block more than once. Spinning and spinning and spinning. This is a new take on a beloved mission from Super Mario Galaxy. Uh, or, if you will, a new twist on it. <laughs> this mission is from a Beach Bowl Galaxy. It's one. Boulder Geist. Out of all the returning bosses, I would say that this one's probably the toughest. So, right away. You can shoot him with star bits, shoot those rocks, that is. And by doing that, you can instantly turn those black rocks into bomb boos. You swing those around by the tongue and you hurt him. I don't know what it is with boos and tongues, but um, I guess it's what you taste booze with. You hit him enough times and then eventually he just turns into a haunted uvula, which you then blow up as well. Is he made of lollipops? Or are his lollipops flesh? He screams, for he does not know. Backflip. I don't need to do any stinking waiting. Oh, maybe I do. Nope. Haha, uh -huh. you thought you were gonna make me have patience. Nothing has made me have patience for the last 20 something years of my sentience existing. You're not, a wall is not about to start me thinking that way. Come on. It's a pretty efficient way of doing this, and it's definitely good in a speed run, which is exactly what we are doing. Have you not seen the timer? In fact, you might not be able to see it right now if you're a computer. It is 404 after all. <laughs> so we'll long jump into that. Whoop! -po! Come at me, bro! Pat, <laughs> you listen to your bad guy. You're such a rockin' dude. Or I guess in his case, dirtin' dude. No? Okay. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. <laughs> or in my case, all the shots that you do take when it, or in my case, all the shots that you do take when it comes to telling jokes. <laughs> okay, up in here, we got the, this thing is so awesome. That's not, <laughs> it's like, hey, that's my cue. You just said that you missed me. I'm awesome. I'm the battery meter. <laughs> uh, black rock, black rock, black, only one. So there was a few thank you clips. Thank you. Slightly different emphasis. Thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, uh, Peach, I think you got a battery in your throat. <laughs> your voice modulator is getting low. So for those of you wanting a more dramatic story in Super Mario Galaxy 2, oh, if I got a plot twist for you. They weren't platinum crowns the whole time. They were silver crowns and it was a pretty airtight lie, wasn't it? They all turned to gold crowns now that those are available. Platinum is often seen as better than gold and is seen as the ultimate status, so I thought it would make a lot of sense and would kind of mask the fact that there was a big, big post game to this. Okay, enough of that. Uh, I think it's around here somewhere. I'm just climbing around on the outside because I really like making this level my, my, my bitch. Uh, no! Oh, his ass got sent to the shadow realm. <laughs> What a sad way to go, just waddling, being like, no, no, don't do it, Thwompy, don't do it, and then nope, no mercy shown to him whatsoever on his squishy side. Uh, on this planet, uh, no, 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 you don't do that to me. What, <laughs> what, what? It's because I stepped on the next platform, isn't it? Luigi's are selective permeable. 
They permeate wood. You see those clusters of rocks over there that are full of that red substance? You know what those are? Boulder balls. Away we go into the wild blue yonder and white foamy liquid. It's significantly less gross than it sounds if you are watching the video and not just alt tabbing me into some other deed into some other activity. Oh crap! 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 crap. <laughs> Up! Stop! Goodbye, Yoshi. It was nice knowing you. It's okay. I replaced you with something else green. All is right in the world. That is... No, 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 Yoshi. No, Yoshi. No, Yoshi. You get over there, mister. You flutter jump me over there so I can fall you in a ditch! Crap. Uh, uh, no hard feelings, right, Yoshi? Yoshi? No hard feelings, right? Wait. Did he... Did he live? Oh, Yoshi, no hard feelings. I knew you'd come back. Yoshi, I knew you'd have no hard feelings about me uh, tossing you down onto solid ground where you would land safely and get to be with me forever and ever. Uh, no. <laughs> this mushroom will be force-fed to you by me. <laughs> uh, he looks so unamused at my impression of him, but such is the life of a chopper. I'd be depressed too if I got introduced as a new and exciting Mario enemy only to be ignored for the rest of my existence. Actually, heck no. If I ever got to appear in a Nintendo game in any capacity, no matter how small, uh, that'd be enough to keep me going for the rest of my life. I don't think I'd ever need to achieve anything ever again. <laughs> Give me... Go up. Uh, this is bad. I have had two mushrooms force-fed to me in the span of a day. <laughs> That's a new record for me. How's it going, blockhead? I'm sorry, I didn't realize that was a slur to your kind! I got what was coming to me. Spin, plop right down on top of it. No one will ever know my secret club or get into it without getting fried to a burning fiery crisp. For I've collected the only object in it that keeps you afloat. A dinosaur. Ha <laughs> ha! Just had to make his day even more rotten. Kick him while he's down. <laughs> uh, got what I had coming to me in a few seconds flat. This time, I didn't use my clouds willy nilly, meaning. Don't call me willy. Oh! Sorry, had my head in the clouds. But now it's cleared up. Sorry, Luigi. Hi! Now, what I like to point out is notice how when I crouch, Luigi covers his eyes, and boos only freak out when you're not looking at them. You know what that means. Uh, oh, I was about to say, at least the Matter Mouse didn't kill me, and then no boo! Okay, uh. He's even singing along! I'm so happy I could make death so much more joyous for him. <laughs> 169! So, there does exist a YouTube video of a countdown that Nintendo had on their banner. You know, back when YouTube channels allowed you to have banners and have. Wait, what? What was that? I won against the chop! It went into the pit after me trying to kill me! It's like, no you don't, get back here! That's really funny, but um, anyway. What dunderhead thought it was a good idea to make the level icon these little nobody macaroons and not the pancakes? I have strong opinions about this. I love those pancakes. Some of you showed them to me up close that you were able to view it by moving the camera all around in ways that you're not supposed to, and they still look just as delicious up close. But I, I think it's about time that you hear this because it's just really, really important that you know and it's not just forever left a mystery. 
We don't get to be close to the pancakes this time because the green stars are bald at the start of the level. Hey, hey guys, guys. We're playing as Luigi and we flip the world upside down. That's a double negative, so it doesn't count as forceful anymore. Now it does. Yes. This has been the mating call of the Arizonan-born Mexican. I realize that could sound pretty bad to somebody who doesn't know that's what I actually am. So, uh, yeah, um, <laughs> that is what I am. Uh, she was looking kind of dumb with some green goo and some eyes in the shape of a star on her forehead. Hey, look at me. I'm a silver star. Don't you love me? Okay. It is a land of mystery, great and terrible things you could never hope to understand, like these green stars being hidden in plain sight, and yet I still enjoy them anyway. It's terrifying. Speaking of things that never left me all that time ago, uh, the green star is meant to teach that you can go over here. World four over already, into world five, and the space storm. You wanna see me do the shortest mission in Galaxy 2? You want to see me do it again? I kid, but that took me more tries than I would care to admit. But I will admit and show you. You want to see me do the shortest mission in Galaxy 2? You want to see me do the shortest mission in Galaxy 2? You want to see me do the shortest mission in Galaxy 2? <laughs> Blast off! <laughs> Genuine reaction was right. I didn't know where any of the stars were. <laughs> am I actually supposed to... No. Okay. At least it's not that. I am touching the floor with this controller. And it... Much. A slight, a slight turn to the right and forward will do. Uh, going to explore right here. It's somewhere on this planet. Did you really call this a planet? It's kind of more of a star with ground. That sounded really stupid, but it was also exactly what I meant to say. Ah, a firewall. Guess we're safe. Can't be quite as skip happy with this one. As much as I do indeed love hopping all around with the cloud flower. Uh, well, I'm ho certainly hopping all around, just not with the cloud flower. I have saved one cloud. Charlie, no! Well, I'm sure you can see why right away. I see wigglers. Or as I like to call them, Bigglers. Ooh. <laughs> See, All I can right. reuse jokes because she hasn't watched these videos and you get her reaction out of it so it's a new joke for you too effectively. Oh, great. Uh, press A on Luigi if you would. Uh. You know what this enemy name is? Piranha Big? Piranicus Giganticus. Oh no, not again. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, I hate that I could actually hear that in my head. <laughs> Doesn't it sound so much like <laughs> Oh no, not again. Where is, okay. I'm just gonna trust I can break it. that ah! though. Oh, I you can't tried to bring it to me <laughs> as I was falling to my death. Like, here, you wait, need this. Did, wait, did I just collect it for you? Yes, I made oh it, I love this. <laughs> you brought it to me as on my deathbed. <laughs> now that's what I call life insurance. <laughs> oh my god! Remember when I was like, "Well, I can't help you with that." Well, I did anyway. Oh my god, that's really cool. I didn't know that you could technically pull that off. <laughs> that's really funny. This is really helpful, actually. Like, see, like, I move the 
the camera. Why would I ever be able to move the camera in a 3D game? I'm sorry, I just, I just, I have this thing about me where I keep thinking that that would be a natural part of my moveset, and I don't know why. Ah! Ah! How did I miss? How did I miss? How did I? Oh my god! Golly, it's almost like if I could have moved the camera, I could have confirmed my position. <laughs> Man, I Stupid see- Stupid me! Why would I ever think they would put that in a 3D platformer? I see why I struck a nerve. You're just really good at finding them, I guess. <laughs> Become a syringe doctor, whatever they call them. Syringe doctor? I don't know, there's gotta what? be some medical term for a doctor who uses syringes. Syringe? I think that's just called <laughs> no, a doctor, okay. Emil! I, I could just long jump into it, of course. Oh my god. <laughs> Give me that. Now the real question is, how do they get back from there? Syringe doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you you know, should be a syringe doctor. I don't know, man. I lost my vocabulary in the war. What war? <laughs> Which one? Please elaborate. The, the console war? Oh my god. Uh, go ahead and try dancing with some people. Co-star Lumas and so much more. Everything they, oh, there's another one over there. Um, okay. Now they can't repopulate their population because you killed one but not the other. No. No! You better be giving him a hug. I'm giving him a hug. I'll save you. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> Foiled! Well, I was gonna say you did a lot more good than harm, but then you did that. <laughs> I like I didn't even care that much though, but you made me care only to betray me. <laughs> so that's Co-Star Luma. A really cruel, uh, cruel. Well, it, is, it is a really cruel feature. Uh, it's a very cool feature. Melty monster music, or as a lot of your opinions made it sound. Mmm. Uh, planning on talking about the music and how much I liked it throughout this whole thing because I knew that green star was at the very beginning, but it took me so long to grab that I'm kind of out of things to say about this place. So, um, hi, how you doing? Uh, I'm doing pretty great. It feels very surreal to have um, almost 220 stars already. Just feels like I began this only yesterday and I'm sure for a lot of you, it feels uh, really surreal if you've been watching for a long time to actually see this get made. and. I feel the same way, and I'm right there with you when I'm saying that it is really strange to see it almost done. I saw some of you thinking that the 120th star was going to be the last one, so that was uh, kind of fun. I got to have my fun by watching you guys react to that. Come on! I can't get it with that one. Alright, no problem. In the last week, I have gotten 93 star bits. Uh, reference that I don't think anybody will ever get, but um, our last guest might have something to say about it. Uh, Clockwork Ruins Galaxy, out of all the places that were going to kill me a lot? Well, I've done this three times. Luigi's gonna have run through it more times than Mario now. I sure hope he's enjoying his trip off to the Bahamas with Princess Peach or whatever it is he's actually doing right now. It's okay, bro. I'm just making jokes, okay? I, I know you're uh, just, you know, sipping tea over in uh, Starship Mario. You know, you're just in there. Yeah, I can switch over to you at any time. I'm just trying to be a good bro and grab all the stars that are my color. I just realized we'll have actually have played more of this as Luigi than Mario by the end because I switched to Luigi all but one time that I could have. Um, oh my god, Luigi played around in Throwback Galaxy. The natural order of things has been thrown off. What have I done? Come on. Bunny hop it. But oh my god, I'm actually gaining. I'm actually gaining. I'm actually gaining. I'm actually gaining what I said after working out for the first few months. Uh, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on. No! <laughs> well, now it doesn't matter anyway. Here we go! Wah! And then, ha! It smiles as it devours my torso. And then becomes one with my shoe. This was a trend that was... Uh... Uh, uh, he's going for a snooze in the nest. <laughs> That's really cute. Anyway, 
I have become a better player of this. His time has gone. Jinxed it! Jinxed it! When will I ever learn to stop opening my dumb mouth? <laughs> oh god, oh no. Oh. Okay, well, I. Bowser Senpai no this Ouija! We have to, ahem, daisy chain our jumps together. Don't know if I've used that one already, but these things are daisies, and you know me and Daisy, I just gotta say things about them. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh no, 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 no! Festivus ain't over till you pin him, man! My heart is pounding out of my chest right now. This is scaring me more than like anything I have done in a very long time. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Just pop him. Ah! No! <sighs> I can breathe again. I can breathe again. I can breathe again. Oh my god, I'm done in my last life if I actually do pull this off! That really looked like it was gonna hit me. Every time I say that, but that time it looked like it even more than it usually does, and that still made my heart skip a beat. My cardiovascular system is a very popular topic today. Okay. Star bits, I have them. 34 shots is a lot. But not if I am a fool and don't use them enough. All right, so you can reach me from over here. You're even closer now, so that platform is no longer... Oh, That's one. Only like 47 to go. No sweat. Two down. Throwing range is just unbelievable. Like, he's actually hitting this platform from all the way over there, and he's standing on the opposite end. Okay, so you can hit me now. He's landing two. Okay, it's fine. That guy can hit me, they can both hit me, okay. Better to know that than not. guard, so he doesn't actually, like, get much of a meaningful stun. Okay, stop the hammer in place. That guy can't hit the last platform, as long as I duck. Oh God, but he can't hit this one. Okay. Wait for the throws, and then... Okay. Wait for them to come back. Oh my god. As long as I'm ducking, they can't do it unless they land on me. Do not have the sufficient genitals to know if there is anything on the other side of this planet. You can find that out for yourself for all I care. Hello, space princess. Luigi, so you were the one who collected all of the scatters as well, almost all of them. Hmm. So all those years ago, we established Hotter Than Peach. Hmm. Yeah, Hotter Than Rosalina. What a beautiful day. I'm gonna go for a stroll around town and see everybody. Uh, I sure hope they enjoy living on this spaceship all again now that they've been brought back together and there's new friends everywhere. Such a happy, bustling town. Oh man, I love it, but I feel like I'm missing something. Oh yeah, this chimney. Well, I'm happy to oblige.